Hi, my name is Chelsea Romero and I'm going to teach you how to make melted crayon art. Melted crayon art is an easy and fun thing to do for those artistic adventures out there. It's so simple yet the result can be stunning. No wonder the trend is all the rage. You can create your own masterpiece by using some crayons, a canvas, a blow dryer, and a hot glue gun. I'm going to turn the camera downwards so you can see what I'm doing. For supplies, as I said, you will need a canvas or poster board, crayons, you can buy melting crayons, but they're really expensive and ones from the dollar store work just fine. You also will need a hair dryer and hot glue gun. You probably should also want to lay down newspaper or an old t-shirt or blanket under the canvas in case the wax splatters too. Don't forget to cover yourself up too. Hot colored wax on your skin and nice clothes are not part of the project. First, you'll want to sort out the crayons depending on what you want. A rainbow is a popular design, so if you choose it, place the crayons in order of the rainbow. Some people order their crayons lightest to darkest. Others use different shades of the same color. The arrangement is totally up to you. Just make sure you have enough to cover the entire top of the canvas, repeating your colors. It's just as beautiful. Now, I'm only doing this small section because I don't have enough time to melt a whole top of crayons. Next, you want to hot glue each crayon in order on top of your canvas. Some people keep the wrappers on and some take them off, but either, works, either way works. You can opt to unwrap the crayons and cut them in half. This makes it look more natural and keeps the top three inches of your canvas from being obviously lined with crayons. You'll want to slant you'll want to slant the canvas so that the wax will drip. A common idea is to lean it against a wall. If you do lean it against the wall, take newspaper onto the wall to avoid any accidents. I don't have a wall, so I'm going to hold it up and hope that it doesn't splatter too bad. Use your blow dryer and blow the crayons. It is best to point the blow dryer downward so that the wax will drip. Make note that this will get messy. However, it doesn't really matter how messy it gets as long as your newspapers are laid out correctly. So you can put it on high.
Now, after a while of some of the crayons melting, you might want to let it sit and let some of them dry because as you can tell, some are harder to melt than most. And in order for you not to melt all of these too much, you'll want to stop and let this stuff dry so it doesn't blend too well. As you can start to see, you'll start having the colors mixed together, creating a marble or a galaxy effect with different colors. Um, so we'll let this dry for a little bit. It shouldn't take long. And then I'll try sh seeing if these will melt a little better. Okay, let's see if... Okay, so it's obvious that the red and orange and yellow don't want to melt as well. But you can see that the white, the gray, the purple, the blue, and the green melted and started a cascading effect down the board. Once it dries, it'll harden. Um, for final touches, you can clean up your artwork by removing the what's left of the crayon and you can fill in with cray uh, you can fill in with regular crayon paint color pencil anything you want to make this less area uh, display your artwork hang it on the wall post it on Facebook or Tumblr and call of your family show your creativity to the world they'll love it